Hi, Gloria Reben here again, and today's presentation is called Ships of Sea. And I'm going to talk to you about three different kinds of ships, three different kinds of people that you will be encountering when you're inviting people to take a look at your opportunity. And they're the gold, here I'm going to put this little picture up here, the gold, the silver, and the MT. And MT stands for empty. So, which of the people do you think you want a gold? And you know, you've heard this thing that says, my ship, I'm waiting for my ship to come in. Okay, when your ship comes in, do you want it to be full, filled with gold? Do you want it to be filled with silver? Or do you want it to come in empty? Okay, kind of the obvious answer is you want it to come in gold. Because that's the most lucrative. Now, when your ship comes in, who are you going to work with in order to bring that ship in as quickly as possible? Now, if you said gold, hmm, that was the right answer. You want the gold. Now, the gold types very often are those salespeople who come in and just kind of recruit a lot of people. But as I said earlier in one of the earlier videos, you're going to want to work with them to show them how to build deep, how to build, dig, dig down three and then four deep in order to have a successful network marketing business. Now, as far as the silvers are concerned, you want to help them so you can turn them into gold so that everybody's going to be gold. Now, as far as the MTs are concerned, uh, well, you know, if you move on ahead, the MTs may decide to call you because you know, they, they want to do the business too. But chances are the MTs are going to sink. And so you don't want to spend a whole lot of time with them, although you would like to help them become silver. But most people do spend time with MTs and they don't get anywhere. I've spent a lot of time with MTs, believe me, I know from experience. And now I'm working with the golds and with the silvers to turn them into gold. So I have some notes here, which are very important. So I'm going to be referring to them. And these are things that, of how to identify a gold ship. When you identify them, hey, you get, get going with them. Okay, one, they are eager to learn. They call you, they ask you questions, they want to know things, they want to learn. They ask for help. That's the second thing. They ask you for help. They're always looking for help. Three, they are excited about the business. They're excited about learning how to identify gold. gold. They're excited, excited about listening to presentations such as this. They're excited about learning about the company, learning about the products, learning about the plate plan, and they understand that. They're making a commitment. That's number four. They are buying the products. They're using the products. They're studying. They're learning. Okay, at this point, I have a book and I have to turn the page. So number five, they have golds. You know, now, while it's not absolutely necessary to write down your goals, some people say you've got to write them down, not absolutely necessary, but, you know, it helps sometimes if you do write them down. But you do have to have them in your heart. You do have to have them moving you forward. So you do have to know what it is you want. And if you don't know, you better find out. Number six. Ah, this is a big one, the list of names. Sometimes when you mention list of names, people like a, a balk and say, oh, I'm not going to talk to my family and friends. The whole point of the list of names, well, it's actually twofold. One is it shows your abundance of how many people you really know, of how many people you, you know, you can potentially call. You may not call all of them. You may call some of them. But you're going to determine who you would really like to work with who you would really like to help. But it has to be both of those things, who you feel it would really be willing. But don't judge anybody, because sometimes you might think people might be willing, and if you just kind of like make the first move towards them, you'll find out that they are. Okay, next then is, they have to be fun to be with. <laughs> you don't want any grouchy people on your team. So make sure that they're going to enjoy working. Because there's no point in doing a business if you don't really love it and you don't really enjoy doing it. And then you're not with people you enjoy doing. And the last thing, number eight, they are positive. They are. They look forward to your coming around. They're positive thinking. And positivity is really contagious. You know, you don't want a bunch of naysayers around you. 
So those are the very, very important points to remember how to identify a gold or even a silver who could potentially become a gold. So there's other three things you've got to do in order to start your business and have it start on the right point, on the right track, which is expose, involve, and upgrade. And it's very important to in expose people to the concept of network marketing right away, almost even before you talk about the company and the pay plan and all this kind of stuff, because they have to be open to doing a network marketing business. They can't be one of those people that say, oh, that doesn't work. Okay, and you've got to show them how it does work. And then you've got to involve them. You've got to involve them by, um, by taking them through the further steps, through these videos, for example, is a good way to involve them, then upgrade them, that really starting them into the business and getting all the information they need to know. So I, um, I hope this helps because uh, we're going to have a golden market and a golden business if you follow this advice. Okay, so thank you very, very much. Looking forward to tomorrow.